guys welcome back so in this video I'm gonna be working on the trike and let's show you what I've got done so far and what else I need to do so if you saw one of my other videos you saw this whole thing that I built and I'm not too crazy about it because it's super long it's like a limo but it'll work for now so we've got custom spray painted black wheel up front we got this custom frame this antique seat we got a predator 212 motor from harbor freight and then this is what i've been working on today been working on the axle still gotta grind it some more make it nice custom axle that goes right there in there through those things and then I've got one tire with the PVC sleeve on it and that obviously goes on the axle like that and then earlier this morning I put a new uh, clutch on because the other one wasn't working and then I got a sprocket so I need to put that on after I get done grinding the this because I had a I tried to so I tried to do this with like the old bike parts that I got from the bike that I cut up so I took the sprocket off and I welded it to this clutch and then I did the same with the rear gear set I tried to weld it to the axle and it just didn't work like I didn't have the right chain and it wouldn't line up right so I decided to do it somewhat legit. I got an actual chain that fits this and a sprocket with the same uh, chain size. For the axle, I literally took a one inch uh, piece of tube and I welded this uh, bolt on the end with a washer, which wasn't a great idea because then I have to grind the washer off so it'll slide in. So I gotta finish grinding this and then I gotta mount up one more tire to the sleeve. And then I'll show you this while we're at it. Got this PVC pipe. It's a, it was for underground water main, just a leftover piece of scrap they had. So I was like, that would be perfect. Fits right inside there. And I'm just cutting it with this here uh, circular saw. So yeah. Well, I've been making some decent progress here. So as you can see, I got the axle partly in. I still need to wait. I still need to grind the rest of this weld off. I've just been waiting because my batteries. So I have three of these batteries and all of them are dead. And they take, like, check this out. Dead. And they all take like an hour to an hour and a half to charge. So I've just been waiting for my batteries to charge, but I've been doing other stuff while I can. Um, so I got the chain, I got it cut, and then uh, put on. And I still need to adjust. The motor isn't like perfectly straight with it yet, but I can adjust it. And then, what else? Yeah, i just been waiting for my batteries to charge so that I could finish this. I'm getting pretty close, but let's fire it up. You guys want to hear this thing run? Let's fire it up. Oh. So that works. The chain actually hits, you can see right here, right here where it's been hitting. So I need to trim that. But other than that, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm getting pretty close. I think the only other thing I need to do, oh, why'd that get all blurry? 
So I think the only other thing I need to do is put the throttle cable on, which I don't have one, so I might steal one off of that. The green 110 over there. So yeah, got the old twisty throttle here. Burp, burp, burp. Thing's gonna be a ripper. But yeah, after these batteries get charged, hopefully I can put the rest back together and get to ripping this thing. headed to the gas station right now because I need some gas and on the way there's some horses and I got Ida with me and we love to feed the horses little carrots and we love the animals so we're gonna get some gas and then get back to this project well we got here and uh, the horses are all the way over there all the way over there and we can't get their attention. They won't even look at us, huh? How messed up is that? How messed up is that? We brought them food and everything. And they just don't want nothing to do with us. So we're gonna go back to the house. Huh? I know, I know. Maybe we'll come back another day, okay? Those ants Yeah, there's some ants. We should go. Hey guys, so I need a throttle. Well, I needed a throttle cable for this trike. And I went everywhere. I went to like Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, I even went to AutoZone and those kind of places to see if they had one. And then I was like, well, why am I so stupid? Like I could use a bike cable, like a brake cable. So I went to Walmart and I got this set. It's basically just like a replacement cable kit. It says right there, replacement bicycle cable set. And basically it just replaces all the cables on a bike and it's gonna work perfect because look at what we got we got like three three of these long cables with these fittings on the end which is what I'm using on the little twist throttle and then the other end doesn't really matter it can work with anything so I think I got this part figured out and that's pretty much all I need because I got the tires on I just need a throttle cable so I'm gonna do this and hopefully get ripping on this thing. Been out here messing around with this thing for a little bit. I got this cable run, just loose for now. I'm just gonna zip tie it right there or something, but got it all run and got it hooked up. There's the throttle thing right there. Check it out. Give her a little twist. Oh yeah. So I think we're ready to try it out. Here at work and Frank wants me to do a video of him doing a burnout. So here it goes. <laughs> well guys, it's sad that it has to end this way, but I already broke the trike. Let me show you. So I think in the last clip I showed you, I was putting the throttle cable on, which got that, got this thing going. And I ended up getting it going and it was going pretty good. I got the front brake hooked up. Uh, yeah. And I took it and I was riding it. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this frame is like super bouncy. And so I hit a raw a bump and it completely bent the frame right there my frame and it cracked it all along here so this whole section is pretty much like halfway broken if I ride it anymore it's gonna be completely broken and as you can see when I sit on it it just touches the ground so unfortunately guys that's gonna be the end of this video because I broke it. 
But that's not going to be the last time you'll see this thing in a video. Because I'm going to be bringing it back and I'm going to be building it even better. I'm going to shorten the frame, get some other weird things figured out, and I'm going to get a legit axle and some legit tires. Because these things, I didn't weld the studs on super straight, so that it's kind of like the tires flop around but yeah so anyways guys thanks for watching and as always see you later